Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. A friendly warning to everyone who isn't caught up on all of Twin Peaks, including all of Season 3, and also Mark Frost's new book, The Final Dossier, there will be spoilers in this video. So viewers and listeners, be warned. We can get it, Leo. Just wait till everything settles down. You punks owe me ten grand. Leo needs a new pair of shoes. If and when Twin Peaks Season 4 becomes a reality, and while I have no idea what the future may hold, I am hopeful and optimistic that we will get a fourth season. But if and when that happens, I have no idea if Leo Johnson will figure into the story. However, based on the evidence from Season 3, and based on the evidence in the final dossier, I think anything is possible. Leo might still yet need a new pair of shoes. The last we saw of Leo, he was desperately holding on to that rope. And in the final dossier, we finally learn of Leo's fate. In Albert's account, we discover that Leo was killed. Leo's body had five gunshot wounds, as well as numerous spider bites, electrical burns, bruises, and cigarette burns. Albert jokes that tarantulas are scary looking, but that their bites are never fatally venomous. So Albert concludes that Leo's death was obviously from the gunshot wounds, and Albert incorrectly assumes that Wyndham Earl was the one who killed him. But we know that didn't happen. It couldn't have been Wyndham Earl. Because when Bobby told Shelley that Leo was probably having the time of his life, we saw that Leo was still holding on to that rope for dear life. And by that point, Wyndham Earl was already inside the Black Lodge. So it couldn't have been Wyndham Earl who killed Leo. Wyndham never made it back out of the Lodge. This all fits with the idea that when Bob took Wyndham Earl's soul, Bob also appeared to have absorbed the skills and knowledge that Wyndham possessed. We see hints of this in The Return, when the bonsai tree is present in the room with the glass box, and then again, when we see Bad Coop using the same device that Wyndham used when he was speaking with the Philip Jeffries imposter. It's reasonable to believe that one of the first things Bad Coop would have done before fleeing town is going to Wyndham Earl's last known home base. We know that Earl was several steps ahead of Cooper regarding the information he had pertaining to the Lodge, Lodge entities, and the fact that the Al Cave map was in fact a map. So I believe Bad Coop went there to begin his journey in search of Judy, and unfortunately for lowlife Leo, this spelled certain doom. In the final dossier, we also learn that Leland never dies in the jail cell. In the alternate timeline, Leland commits suicide on the one-year anniversary of Laura's disappearance. That means, even if Wyndham Earl did still lure Agent Cooper into the Black Lodge, Bob shouldn't be there. He's with Leland. And if Bob isn't there, then he never takes Wyndham's soul, and he never possesses Cooper's doppelganger. At least not at the same points in time. If we assume that everything else is constant, then there's a fighting chance that Leo may have survived. Sure, he was probably in really bad shape, and he probably still suffered a great deal of trauma. But Leo was always a survivor, and he could absorb a great deal of punishment. Whether he was getting his ass kicked by Hank, being shot by Shelley, being shot by Hank, being tormented by Bobby and Shelley, or being tortured by Wyndham Earl, Leo persevered. Even if we throw out all the new information from the final dossier, and we dismiss it for the purposes of evaluating whether Leo might live in a would-be fourth season, we have all of the evidence we need right here. This glorious sequence where we got to see Pete Martell go fishing is simply magical and it opens up the doors for so many interesting possibilities. The fate, as we know it, for each and every character in the Twin Peaks universe is now uncertain, and all of these individual situations, they have virtually unlimited potential. 
So this isn't even really about Leo in the grand scheme of things. I have no idea if Leo will figure into plans for a fourth season. And I have no idea if Lynch and Frost would even be inclined to focus on any of these finer details of various characters' lives as they unfolded in this alternate timeline, where instead of being killed, Laura Palmer went missing. If Laura never died, is Jacques still alive and well? If Laura never died, how would Annie's story have changed? And if Laura never died, then what would have become of our beloved cousin Maddie? And forgetting the questions about all the individual characters, and just instead speculating on where Lynch and Frost might possibly go with a fourth season, would they even focus on these alternate histories? Maybe, but I think the more pressing matter would be, where does Agent Cooper's journey take him next? I have no idea, but wherever it takes him, I tend to believe the line by Philip Jeffries that Gordon Cole will remember the unofficial version. I think that would be a big key going forward. And because of that, I'm inclined to believe that if and when a fourth season happens, that the focus would be on the new official version where only Cole and Cooper and a select few others would have any awareness that there even was an unofficial version. So to reiterate an earlier point, I remain hopeful and optimistic that there will be a fourth season of Twin Peaks. Does that mean Leo Johnson will live to see another day? I have no idea. But regardless of whether or not we ever get to know, I'll be scratching the everlasting itch afforded to me by the Twin Peaks experience. That's all I got. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a wonderful night.